Major breaking news coming out of Sheffield United and Bramall Lane this afternoon. Hey guys, Fletch here bringing another Fletch Talks video. You know the drill by now. I'm Fletch, this is a Fletch Talks video, and this is where I bring to light a, a, a topic of conversation, a topic of interest within the world of football. I bring it here, I talk about it, I discuss it. And then I offer you guys to have your opinions as well because that is what makes a great topic of discussion and that's what makes a great debate. And here is no different. This is another video. This video is going to be centering around the big, big, big breaking news story that Chris Wilder has today parted ways with Sheffield United. He has left the club and to be honest, when I woke up today, I genuinely didn't think I'd be making a video on a managerial exit. I definitely didn't think it would be uh, Chris Wilder of Sheffield United. So yes, I am a little bit surprised and a little bit shocked by this major breaking development. This of course brings an end to Chris Wilder's five year stay with the Blades, where he of course took charge of them back in 2016 where they were just a League One outfit back then, if you can believe that. He took over League One Sheffield United and fast forward five years later, he had guided them through League One into the Championship and then more incredibly from the Championship back into the Premier League. Had an odds-defying season last campaign during uh, the campaign. Uh, he picked up some incredible results, shocked many teams uh, along the way, surprised many pundits and fans alike by beating the odds and s keeping Sheffield United within that division when it was when it was highly likely that they would be yo-yoing back down to the Championship through relegation. But he defied the odds there, had an incredible season. Okay, this season hasn't quite gone to plan and it's kind of a bit of a contrast from last season, but at the same time, I don't think many expected him to be leaving like this. So this is quite a big, uh, incredible breaking news story. And of course, we shouldn't also forget the history of Chris Wilder being with Sheffield United these past five years. As I mentioned, Wilder is credited with leading a League One outfit back then when he first took charge of Sheffield United back in 2016. A League One outfit, Sheffield United, and rising them through English football into the big time, into the top tier division known as the Premier League. He is the man who made all that possible and made them back in the big time once again. And to be fair, I think they shocked a lot of people last season by defying the odds and getting into a top half finish when many really expected them to yo-yo back down to the championship. Full credit there, but if you fast forward to this season, it's a bit of a contrast. The Blades find themselves rock bottom of the Premier League on uh, with only 14 points accumulated from 28 games. And with the games counting down thick and fast, with only 10 games remaining, they are 12 points off of safety. And it does appear that their fate seems to be already sealed for this season. And the writing may already be on the wall for them as far as where their future lies. It's been a difficult season for everybody, but no more so arguably than Sheffield United in terms of on the pitch. Uh, so much so that they didn't even manage to achieve a single victory this season until January, where they managed to pick up their first victory of the new season at the expense of fellow relegation candidates Newcastle. However, it doesn't just appear to be United's poor performance in the league this season that seems to have inspired this sudden sacking of the manager. From what I could gather and from what I could, uh, from what I could read, it does appear that it's another case of heavy uh, interference from the club's owners. Another story of a club with owners heavily interfering in the day-to-day -day affairs of the squad, the club and everything else that's involved in that. There have been reports that Wilder and United's owner, Prince Abdullah, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, uh, have clashed over the club's recruitment policy of certain players with the belief that Wilder's judgment hasn't been exactly the best in recent, in recent times and that a director of football was discussed at being appointed at the club. But it seems that with this news, 
it could be a combination of both things, of course. It could be a combination of off-the-pitch issues along with their performance on the pitch that have combined to produce this news that he has left. Uh, and of course, you know, he at the end of the day, he's the owner, he makes the decisions. If Wilder isn't playing ball and isn't going along with how he envisions the club to be ran, then of course Wilder's going to be gone. And in the end, I think two stubborn elements uh, clashed here. And that is why they were forced to go their separate ways. But overall, if you look where Chris Wilder came from uh, and what he stepped into back five years ago to where he's got them right now, this man came into a club that was sitting in like a mediocre sort of limbo in League One and you know had lost their way in recent seasons and he managed to steady the ship almost immediately in, within his first season in charge he got them promoted to the championship and then of course two seasons later he managed to get Sheffield United back in England's top tier division that was an incredible achievement in of itself but then to have the kind of season Last season that they had, where of course they finished in the top half of the table, they shocked a lot of people by getting that far and were a welcome addition to the Premier League. And, you know, even more miraculously, there was talk about Sheffield United gaining European football at some stage, la some stages last season. Of course, that proved to be one step too far for them, but it was a much better discussion and topic for Sheffield United to be within the conversation of rather than at the beginning of the season where they were in the conversation of, you know, relegation fodder. They were in the conversation of, you know, maybe they could stay up, but it's going to be a bit of a tough ask for them. But he managed to achieve that and he managed to get them to where they were. And from the outside looking in, you have to say that this may be another example, as I've already touched upon, of harsh ownership interference. I understand to a degree where it comes from, and it's because simply he's the guy that's going to be that's holding the money. He's the guy who has to look out for his investment. He's the guy who has to oversee that, and ultimately what he says goes. It's kind of his vision of the club because he's the one pumping the money into the club, and I get that to a degree. If the reports are to be relieved, Wilder was unwilling to go along with his judgment on the side of appointing a director of football and he clearly backed his own judgment and he clearly backed the players that he had signed himself to succeed at the club whilst the ownership didn't necessarily agree and felt that a change in how the club operates was the way forward. Um, and you know, it's, a, it's, it's just a question of beliefs. He, one side believed one thing, the other side believed another thing. They both clashed and here we are. There can only be one win at the end of the day. And of course, it's not going to be the manager. It's going to be the owner. The owner is going to have his way. And unfortunately, both have decided to part ways. And this is where we are right now. And speaking of the here and now, for me, outside interference and uh, off the pitch issues must have heavily influenced this kind of decision for Chris Wilder to be parting ways with Sheffield United because I don't understand the timing of it. Look, I mentioned earlier that their fate may look sealed with relegation. Like, the writing may be on the wall, it might be signed, sealed and delivered for them, dot the I's, cross the T's, however you want to call it, relegation seems to be what this club is heading for and it may be a case of this team playing for pride for the remainder to the end of this campaign but if they were to go down I'm, I was convinced that the mentality of this squad the loyalty of this squad would have put them in good stead to for the most part if they could stick together at least possibly have a very good chance of bouncing straight back up to the Premier League for the following or the following following campaign by getting promoted from the championship back into England's top tier division. Similar to what Norwich are going through right now. Like they all they all look they got relegated last season and they are looking set to bounce back to the Premier League for this campaign should all things go well for them. It Sheffield United could have been a very similar story. Obviously now things won't work out that way with Chris Wilder gone in in, the, in terms of that scenario. But of course it isn't impossible for Sheffield United not to bounce back. It just depends on how they go about their business in the future, who they appoint as manager, so on and so forth. 
And I guess that, you know, he may have felt that maybe the club wants too much change for him and that may be too much for him to handle with how they've grown over the past few years, how he's helped grow their stature within English football again. They may have decided that they need to go in a different direction to him and that's why he's decided to leave them. And maybe on, on the other side, maybe it's a, a signal that given the current state of things, it may be that the club are prepared to accept their fate of relegation in all honesty. Their seemingly inevitable fate, maybe this is a sign that the club are willing to accept that and they may be trying to put plans in motion to prepare for next season early by bringing in their new manager, getting him familiar, or her of course, getting him or her familiar with the players that they that they have at the club right now and getting them used to how things will be run in the future and how the club will be run going forward. So maybe it's just a case that maybe a change of scenery, a change of everything may be better for both parties in this case. But look, in saying that, I don't think they really change as much that this overall is a man who has introduced some interesting and innovative tactics to a club that has seen them rise through English football the past five years that he's been in charge of them for. He helped them climb from League One to the Championship and then eventually into the Premier League. He navigated them through a tricky first league campaign last season in which they finished in the top half of the table and like everybody else had to deal with a Covid hit season as well on top of that in which brought the postponement of football as we know it and then ultimately came about a project restart and when he needs to be backed and helped and shown some loyalty towards the most for his services to the club they decide to go against him it seems off the field issues going hand in hand with his performances on the pitch and a reflection of their league position have all seemingly contributed to him leaving and now we await confirmation as to who will be his successor, who will be his replacement and where Sheffield United will go from here. But of course, as I always say, this is just one man's thoughts and one man's opinions on this particular topic. I want to know what you guys think. What do you make of Chris Wilder leaving Sheffield United? Where do you think the club will go from now? Where do you think Chris Wilder may go here? From now, Do you think he may stay within the Premier League? Maybe there's a job that's waiting for him in the wings, so to speak, going forward. I'd love to know your thoughts, comments, opinions, predictions, whatever you want to call them in the comments section below. I'm sure they'll all make for interesting reading. Otherwise, hit that like button on the way out if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new or want to see more content like this. Both things will always and forever be greatly appreciated. And as always... Thank you all so much for watching and listening. I've been Fletch. This has been another Fletch Talks video. And I will see and speak with you all again soon in another video.